Well, like it or not, COVID-19 vaccines offer the best and quickest way out of this pandemic and back to some semblance of a normal life, proven to cut the link almost completely between infection and death from COVID. It means economies can open safely to the vaccinated. Globally, we're moving to proof of vaccination to allow access. But if that is the way the world is moving, what would that look like for South Africans traveling abroad, for inbound tourism? And of course, tourism is a mainstay of our economy, so this is a crucial issue. And I'm joined now by Chifiwa Chibengwa, CEO of the Tourism Business Council of South Africa. Chifiwa, always so great to talk to you. Thank you so much. Would you agree that vaccination is quite literally going to become uh, your passport to travel freedom? No, absolutely. I think we have seen this, uh, you know, across uh, the world over, uh, where you know a lot of people that are vaccinated are going to, uh, you know, soccer matches or rugby matches or tennis matches and uh, and attending many uh, events, you know, uh, you know, in the northern hemisphere. So uh, I think that uh, you know one of the things that's quite critical and that we've seen and seem to be proven over and over again is that once you are vaccinated, you should be able to enjoy all these things uh, and you, you won't be able, you, you are protected enough not to make it to a hospital, although few will still make it to the hospital. But uh, it, it, it gives us hope that uh, our sector, from sporting events, from conferences to gatherings, and many other things that we've been talking about for the past 20 months, we should be able to do and put more people mm -hmm. back at work. So it gives us hope and I think that, you know, many people here in South Africa will take the opportunity to get vaccinated and to be able to get us back on track, especially as we're in the tourism sector, who are in need of going back, uh, you know, on the track, in need of inbound tourists, in need of domestic tourists. We should be able to vaccinate our frontline workers and we should be able to go back to work. Talk to me about the practicalities of this much talked about vaccine passport. Um, is there a global plan to create a sort of a universal database, if you will, or a way of checking uh, that if someone says they've had a vaccine in their country, when they get to the next country, that country is satisfied that they can verify? Uh, and and what, are the, what are the practical suggestions around how to do this? Well, you know, we have seen, uh, you know, I think in the, in the, uh, on the 27th of August, we've seen IATA, we've seen UNWTO, ICAO, you know, coming out with the guidelines of digital, digital vaccination certificate verification. And it's something that here in South Africa we've been talking about through NEDLEC. Uh, we've been having discussion for the past uh, week and we had discussion early this morning. We are presenting tomorrow to government. Uh, you know, to say, you know, this is how it could work here in South Africa. Again, we need to make sure that, you know, the civil liberties of, uh, of citizens of the country is not, uh, you know, eroded. But we need to take reality into context. We have not been able to work. And for us to open up, you know, and to open up those things Absolutely. that we have not open up, you know, it wide enough, we need to be able to prove that someone is vaccinated. So digital vaccination, uh, proof is going to be critical and it's something that we're working on. Uh, it's something that we hope that is going to be done soon. It's something that we hope that government is going to adopt as soon as possible for both inbound travelers because we don't want inbound travelers to be coming in here uh, having PCR tests if they are fully vaccinated. So those that are fully vaccinated should be able to come to South Africa without any other proof but the proof of fully vaccination. We also need to regionally integrate ourselves to make sure that uh, we don't have a different policy within the SADC region because tourists that come into South Africa also want to go to Zimbabwe, Zambia, mm. Namibia, Botswana. We need to integrate through the SADC region. But for us, the digital vaccines uh, uh, a proof or certification uh, is quite critical and it's not talk to me about I'm sorry to jump in the digital vaccines issue is it something that would ultimately fall to health the health department to manage or home affairs is it something that uh, when someone scans my passport at the airport uh, if, say if I arrive in Paris they go oh yes your credentials check out oh and we see you've been vaccinated is it something that would link to the passport specifically uh, just just talk to me through the practicalities because this is fascinating well, one of the things that we could do is to make sure that, you know, we adopt the third parties uh, that are already providing the platform, the digital platforms that, ver that verifies, uh, you know, the fact that someone is vaccinated. 
Here in South Africa, we've got EBDS system, whereby anyone who gets vaccinated, you get your card. But also the information of you being vaccinated is on the online system that resides with the Department of Health. The question is, how do we integrate that information that's sitting with the Department of Health with an app or a third-party app that you as a traveler should be able to access using your ID number or your passport number or whatever you use to, to, to get your vaccination to be able to say, you know, you are being vaccinated. So you can go to the airport with your phone and say, you know, I'm using this app. On this app, I've taken my information from the EVDS and here it says that I've been vaccinated and other countries will be able to trust that. So exactly. the importance of it is that we need to, we don't need to reinvent the wheel. We don't need to go out there and build a new system. There are many systems that already exist. We need to integrate those systems that are recognized by many countries to make sure that South Africans that want to travel abroad can be able to verify their vaccination status. Those I that have want to throw in... Actually be able to do the same. Sorry to jump in. I have to ask you this, this ongoing issue, and I know it's, it's something you're very passionate about, the fact that South Africa remains on the United Kingdom's red list. Even if we are vaccinated, we still can't go to the United Kingdom, as one example, without paying for two weeks in a hotel. When is that going to change? Well, this is something that the industry has been working on. Uh, and it's something that even the UK travel industry has been working on to say it's unfair that uh, the people that are vaccinated, uh, that are traveling from the UK to South Africa, when they return, they need to stay in a quarantine, uh, uh, you know, facility. I think that, you know, it's not scientific. I think that, you know, the UK is using different models that, you know, do not align with other world travel and tourism organization, including UNWTO, WTTC, which is the World Travel and Tourism Council. And what we've been saying through various platforms is the tourism industry to say, those that are vaccinated, at least let them travel to South Africa and go back home without the quarantine requirement. We've seen this in the past two days. Ireland has lifted those that are traveling to South Africa, no more quarantine uh, requirement when they go back to Ireland. Why can't the UK does that? So therefore, we are challenging the ambassador of the UK here in South Africa to look into the situation that many other countries are doing, including Germany and many others, to, to change the policy that has been there, because it doesn't serve both our countries. So it's something that we both have to deal with, and it's not desirable for us to remain on the red list in the UK. Those that are vaccinated, at least let them travel without any restriction whatsoever and without the quarantine requirement when they go back to the UK. And that's what we're calling for. All right. Well, we're going to try and get uh, uh, the British ambassador to South Africa onto our program also to ask that very same question. And thank you so much for chatting to us this evening. Good luck uh, tomorrow when you make those proposals on the vaccine passport. Chipiwa Chibengwa, CEO of the Tourism Business Council of South Africa there.